Hey guys and welcome back, this is Chosen Architect and today we are going to be breaking this pack more and more as we keep going. This is absolutely insane and I hope you guys are ready. So today we have some crazy stuff to go over. Um, I have been working a little bit with this power over here and honestly this is probably the most efficient way. This is how we ended up doing it on the, uh, the live stream over at Twitch. Um, and this works and I don't know why this works but the way we were doing it before does not work, right? So we're still using the cryostabilized flux ducts, right? To connect to the energy pylon. I'm assuming that this right here has some kind of distance limitation. So that way we can't carry that power all the way over here because I mean, we were still doing the same thing. We were just carrying the power and going into a singular one. Um, with that being said, it could have something to do with maybe us having other flux points going into this thing. I have no clue. Um, but this is currently transferring the max amount that we can get from this current setup that we have, just feeding it water, which is 300 billion. So we need to get that number higher, right? And we have an easy way that we can do that. One being, well, just change the fuel. Um, right here also we have some things that need to be changed, like right here. This is on the wrong setup. So basically we have our output and our, our stuff set up here. If we go back up here, I'm pretty sure our stuff kind of got messed up from how we've been uh, doing things. But our output is supposed to be under the, that channel. That's gonna be the one that's pulling power out. And over here, this should be the one putting power into our main ball. This one's just like a giant battery that we're pretty much producing. Um, let me check this. This should be working unless something bad happened, which I don't know actually don't know what would have caused that. Strange. Do we not have seeds? Oh, this one didn't get changed. I say our, that stuff should be running still. Alright, so let's fix that. There we go. Now our seeds should be back to being produced. There we go. Okay. So with that being fixed, let's get ourselves some refined fuel. And all we need for that is a tank. Lovely tank. Actually, portable tank. You'd think I'd have some by now. We're going to go ahead and make a portable tank. Make this bad boy creative. There we go. And we're going to feed it a very specific fluid. All right. So over here, we were producing refined fuel. Now this quest is done, so we can break that and replace it with this tank. Now we have a creative tank of refined fuel. And all we got to do is just swap this over to refine fuel and let this water run out, which really doesn't take very long, but it has to run out of that current state that is uh, running with water. And this thing will really start kicking off and uh, should start producing a lot more. It should produce 600 billion just from us changing this. Right. So with refined fuel, we need to start working on a few other things that this machine can do. Um, so if we take a look at our TARDIS uh, paper here, the blueprint, we can see what this thing is used for. It's used to make no you matter and, or, or sorry, used to make no matter and then no you matter. <laughs> so uh, you got to love the jokes in there. Uh, but we need to make uh, you matter, which comes from you, you matter and you, you matter one from tech reborn and one from industrial craft the thing is if you use tech reborn you can get both industrial craft you, you matter and the you'll already you already have the you, you matter from tech reborn and this stuff's actually a lot easier to get than i had originally thought i know it's got some crafting to do to make the matter fabricator but making no you matter is not that hard of a task and uh let's go ahead and we'll we'll work on getting that done so the main thing we're going to need is a matter fabricator or a mass fab. So here's a, here's a matter fabricator, right? It needs these high, highly advanced machine frames, which needs titanium plates. Now titanium is something that we worked on last time. It's very similar to the chromium, but it requires the blast furnace and it requires you to make these small piles of titanium which comes from bauxite, uh, which I'm pretty sure we have some bauxite dust. 
Um, bauxite is just another material that you can get. And what you want to do is turn this or put this through the industrial electrolyzer with empty cells. Um, so we're probably going to need some more empty cells. There we go. And then this should start working like that. And if we want to take the energy upgrades out of here, bam, we'll just throw them in here for right now. Give this guy a little bit of help. There we go. And that'll give us the small piles of dust that we need in order to turn this into titanium dust. Throw that in there. Take out our power. There we go. And give this a little boost. And that will make our titanium super fast. Um, and this is how you get the No You Matter. So, or this is how you're going to get the mass fab anyways in order to create that. So this actually has EMC, which is great and all. Let's go ahead and take that. We're going to throw that over here into the compactor. And the compactor is just going to generate a few things for us. All right, there we go. Now we have all of our titanium plates. We'll go ahead and strong box one of those. And that should give us access to pretty much everything that we are going to need now in order to make the mass fabricator. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get this bad boy crafted up. He sh it shouldn't be too hard. Um, we've already made the Laparon energy core. We just need to, or energy orb. We literally just need to take the Laparon, or Laparons that we have and just make the orbs. So yeah, pretty simple. Um, we should have everything else. Extractors. It's like, it's like you need so many extractors. It's unbelievable how many extractors you actually need. But yes, you definitely need a lot of extractors. We should have everything. And there's our matter fabricator. Right, so the matter fabricator is pretty awesome. The tier is insane, but we can use a point with our, I mean, our power set correctly. Um, and we can use this Go ahead and drop this over here. Really doesn't matter where we put it because we're just going to feed it with a lot of power. And yeah, this guy right here is ready to go. All we got to do is give it some potential scrap boxes or we can just accelerate it here. Um, but the thing it does, definitely does need is a recycler. So um, before we can get anything started, let's get a recycler. Good old fashioned recycler with a compressor. The recycler is going to use tier one power, which we should have, and cowl. And once we get one, we can make our own, right? So let's go ahead and set that there. That is going to go through a few. Look at that. We already got two. And uh, this is what you use to make scrap boxes. So you just take this. Scrap boxes have a chance of giving you random drops, but is also used for the matter fabricator. So let's take this over here, and what we can do is we can throw these scrap boxes in. It's going to use the scrap boxes to to produce you matter, right? You you matter. It's it's going to be full of puns today. It's going to be just completely hilarious. Um, yeah, we can go ahead and throw all this in. It's not a big deal. I'm going to take all this. It's like quite surprising though how much this actually uses it. Um, it had stored power, but it uses a lot of power, by the way. So. Uh, there we go. Perfect. All right. So this stuff is great and all. Let's take this and we'll see what we can do with this. Um, we can use this U matter to make U matter cells, and the U matter cells are going to go in a compressor to make that U U matter uh, from Industrial Craft Two that we were looking at earlier. Um, and it requires an assembler, I do believe, to make this. So let's take a look. Uh, fluid. We don't need that, but you can use this to make fluids, which is kind of awesome. Um, but we have the industrial centrifuge, that's what we need. So an empty cell and that inside the industrial centrifuge, let's take an empty cell, throw that in there with that. And of course, this is going to take some time. Let's take this and there we go. Now it has enough power to make this U matter cell. All right. Next thing we're going to need is to probably buy the assembler. So here's the assembly machine and I'm going to get a conduit just to connect here. There we go. That's getting power. The assembly machine is what we're going to use this and this to combine 
because we need to make this. So, oh, first we need a compressor, right? So we need to take this U matter into a compressor. I'm pretty sure I have a compressor somewhere. There it is. So we'll just get that compressed up. Look at that. And we have U matter. Right. So we're going to take this, put this in an assembly machine. And that is going to assemble for us. And it's going to give us something that we're going to be using, which is the U, the U matter. All right. So over here, let's go ahead and make a few more of the U matter. Bam. I'm just going to take a bit with me. Um, this U matter has a few recipes that involve the TARDIS. Um, and this is where we're going to have to get into this. This is going to require some power in order to make the no matter. So we're going to need a few things, a chest, two chests, one for input, one for output, and some conduits. If you want to use conduits, that's completely fine. Um, that's fine. That's probably what I'm going to use, even though it'd probably be easier with some other things. Even hoppers would honestly work. Um, and let's go to our TARDIS and we'll go ahead and get this all set up. So remember we have power on this side. These are the item hatches. So I'm gonna go ahead and place these chests down. We're gonna go ahead and get the conduits there. Um, the green is an input hatch. So we're gonna say always active on the extract and insert here. And then extract on this side, always active and insert here. So those are configured and ready to go. Now the only thing we need to do is get lava to go in here. And then we also need to force power into here. Now, when we change this over to lava, this thing is going to stop producing power for us. So we need to make sure that we have at least enough power in order to make what we're going to make. And we should, we totally do. So let's go ahead and remove this temporarily, this portable tank. And I'm pretty sure if we feed another fluid into this, it will change it. So if I get lava, actually, we might've been able to just leave it there. So if I place this back down, yes, we can change this automatically to lava. So we're going to let this run out. And when it runs out, this is going to switch over to a recipe mode that is going to require specific items. One of those being the green matter right here and the specific amount of U matter, which is going to produce the no matter. <laughs> it's so funny, like talking about all this matter, you would think that this would actually matter. That was a bad joke. Um, so anyways, here's the here's the U matter and the green matter. We just got to put those together in this chest. And this thing should start up. It will pull out the items. Know how many there are. And then over here, it's going to start the process once we give it some energy. Because right now, it's full of lava. We just need to give this thing some energy. So over here, we have an extraction pylon connected to this energy pylon. And all we need to really do now is borrow these and just connect them up. And that should start pulling power, enough power that this thing is gonna need and it has a little bit of a processing time. Yeah. So we're just basically waiting on the power to, to finish up and generate in here. You can actually see how much it's actually pulling out. Um, yeah, negative. It's, it's running off of that limit that we seen earlier. But I mean, we don't have the limit going in when we're right here, but we have a limit coming out. And I think the limit coming out is based off the output hatch or that or the input hatch over there. I don't know, or something to do with the recipe. But anyways, this should work. We just got to give it some time and I'll be back once we get that. You matter. So once the item is done and the process is completed, you'll have your no matter over here. Um, we're gonna basically make copies of this no matter. And we're gonna go back over here. There we go. We will get the no matter there. And we need a little bit more of the you matter and the no matter. We're gonna combine that again with the same process to make the no you matter. And this requires four no matter and four you matter and still some power. Um, but you have to put it in the input hatch. And there we go. And we'll get that produced. And we have to wait on that process as well. So with all this being done, we should now have 
That's right. No, you matter. <laughs> or no, you matter. Uh, so <laughs> what, what can we do with this? Well, this is actually used to generate the max amount of, uh, yeah, RF from this thing, which will produce 900 billion RF a tick from this. So maybe wondering how we're gonna get all that power out and how we're gonna get this U matter to work. Well, for one thing, we need to make a little bit more U matter just so we have some for later. And I'm gonna get a barrel because we do have these creative barrel upgrades, which are absolutely insane. Um, we're gonna actually utilize these. There we go. For an actual barrel, this is uh, what, wood planks? We're gonna go ahead and make a new barrel. And other than that, we should be pretty pretty good to go. Um, we just need to change this back over to refined fuel. And probably the best way to do that is just to get a bucket. Instead of taking the tank down, we can leave the tank, get a bucket from our refined fuel, which is actually right here. There we go. And there is one thing I need to do, and that is break this hatch. Because that's going to empty the current lava that is stored in there. Well, of course, I need to change this to the, the fuel. <laughs> there we go. Then break the hatch. And then I'll make sure the lava is gone. Yeah, there we go. And now we're just getting the fuel. And then in the back, all we're going to do is we're going to swap this out first. I'm going to set this to um, activate with signal so it's turned off or just not active at all. We're gonna break this because I need to get this no matter in here, or no you matter. We're gonna place it in there and then all we have to do is hit this with a creative upgrade, barrel upgrade, and now it's infinite. Turn this back on and that should be pumping the no you matter in there and we should start to see this jump from the 600 to the 900 very soon. Um, at least, oh wow. I, do we even need an energy pylon here? This is transferring directly to this without anything at all. Um, okay. Yeah, this is di like directly sending power all right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hook this up. I don't think it matters because it's literally connecting directly to this without even worrying about this. It's literally storing it. Did, and we should be getting 900. I think maybe it just needs a little bit of, a little bit of time before uh, it realizes it that it has everything. But yeah, yeah. This is storing the no you matter. And this. Should eventually go from six to nine. So yeah. And voila, I just broke the controller and replaced it. And looky there at how much we're actually generating. Now, you may be wondering why, why do we have to generate that much? And I'm going to say why not, but also we need it for the inquest, right? Um, we also need to produce uh, this amount of UU matter, which that's really simple because we have UU matter now. Um, Everything else is just going to require completionists. We need a lot of coin, which we're going to do that, I think, in a future episode. And these levels of experience are going to be something else that's going to be a, a little bit of a challenge to get, but we can totally get. Now, the cow spawner. This is going to require a fusion control computer, and we need clay matter. Now, clay matter is fading matter with white matter and eternalist fuel in order to make clay matter. Right? And this requires a bit of EMC but it's not gonna be too difficult at all. And uh, this requires the fusion. This pretty much requires you to go through even more Tech Reborn to get this stuff. It's just a lot of fusion control computer stuff, a lot of the, the fusion control to put this thing together. So you're gonna need the helium cells that you get from uh, specific things and vice versa. This is honestly not that difficult to do. Let's go back to the quest. Spawn rabbit. This, we pretty much have the ability to do this, so I'm not too concerned there. Um, this will give us the rabbit spawn egg. We go to the squid. This one, I think we can do right now. 
We have the premium power cell. I don't know how much power this is actually going to take to do. Well, let's go ahead and make the clay matter. I have the ability to make this thing. Um, we just have to get this thing together, right? Um, so clay matter. All right, so we need fading matter, which is me white matter with eternalist fuel. We can find eternalist fuel. Let's get back into here, right? And we should be able to craft this stuff up pretty easy, right? All right, let's get back into here. Perfect, there's our fading matter. Drop that fading matter in there. How many do we need? I think it was six of these. Perfect, and just some clay. That's pretty simple. So we need fading matter and some clay, and that'll let us make clay matter. Awesome. Now this stuff is EMCable, so we need four of those, correct? So let's throw this stuff in here. Make sure we have everything we need. So we have four of those, and we are trying to make the squid one. And we need the premium power cell. Right there. Premium power cell. Now we've already done the wood farm, so we don't really need this anymore. But this is how we're going to have to go about this. So we're going to place one here, here, and here. Power cell. And we pretty much just have to let it craft. Now, I don't actually know how much power this is going to require because it doesn't tell you. So it could require tons and tons of power. Which is going to take forever because if that's the case because this is just yeah this will just take forever if that's the case but there is a couple things we can do we speed all these up and this that should hopefully help it go faster looks like we're draining the max amount of power that we can get out of this Actually, we probably turn this, get even more power, because, I, yeah, I don't know how much power this actually takes. I wonder if it tells us in the quests. Yeah, it looks like that's not going to be okay. Um, but we can make tons of Watch of Flowing Times. You guys have been saying, why haven't you made a ton of Watch of Flowing Times? And to my response, I, I don't know, actually. <laughs> I just haven't gotten around to it. Yes, we can make, you know, four or five Watch of Flowing Times. It doesn't really matter. We can make nine of them for all I care. And a bunch of pedestals. There we go. And we'll get this over here. Shoot, we'll just, we'll fill this whole thing. Because like I said, I think this is just going to require a bunch of power. A bunch of power. We'll fill this whole thing with Watch of Flowing Times. Why not? You know? Why not? Make sure these are set to the right thing. Fast forward. Fast forward. I think by default they're on fast forward. We just need to throw them on there and power them up. This is just it's getting out of getting out of control. Yeah, I wonder how much how long is that gonna take actually? Man, that must take a lot of power, actually. It's Does this say? No, it doesn't say anything about it. And this is not gonna tell me how much power this costs. Hmm. Unless it's referring to the power that's currently in here, which is like the output per tick. That could be. I don't know. <laughs> the only thing we can do is make a couple more watches. Um, that's all I can say. Let's make a few more watches. They should all be set to the right thing. 
because they technically are copies. And there we go. I mean, this thing should be doing its duty. Looks like we're not producing enough power to fill those things. It's definitely draining more than what we have. I think it has a max transfer limit or something. Yeah, it's doing like 3,000 a tick. So 3,000 is all it can really hold, I guess. So that's it for that. Okay, <laughs> well that's going insane. Um, but let's take a look at some of the other ones. So we have Polar Bear. So this is all Batania. Um, and this one's actually not too difficult as well. And then we have the Blaze, which is just a bunch of chaotic. This one's not that, this, this one we can do right now as well. Uh, Clay Matter, we need, I think this is just a lot of chaotic cores, which we should have the cores. Let's see, or not injectors. Let's see, we can probably pull them from some game over crates. Yes, we got right there, chaotic fusion injectors. Perfect, let's just clear all this out. Perfect, and that's all we really needed. So we'll take this. That'll give us 64, that's plenty for what we need. But we need to set this up, and I think what I might do is push this back a little bit. These guys all gotta go. We're gonna have points for each one. We need to line this up. I'm gonna go away two for this. And I'm just gonna put these I mean, you only need three nine by nines, or three, three, three by threes, sorry, not nine by nines, in order for this to work. So I'll be back once I get it filled. So now that we have all of these, pretty much we need every single one of these filled. I think it's 27 is what it was up to um, that we need in here. So I'm just gonna put, try to put one at a time and fill this whole thing up. There we go. Hopefully this will let me set one at a time. It really doesn't matter if we have multiples in here. I just want to try and get as many in here as possible. And voila. Now the last thing we're going to need is again, that clay. So we should just be able to put the clay matter in here and let it start. Oh my. Is that insane? And and it should be being affected, I think, by those. I don't know. What an insane craft. Oh my gosh. I've never seen that many of those. Wow. And, well, that got us a blaze spawn. Um, so what we can do? Just uh just for the lulls? Get out of here, Blaze. Yeah, we don't really need it because we've already completed the quest, which gets us the squid trophy. Nice. Um, wait, did we get a blaze trophy as well? Oh yeah, it was the blaze, but I was clicked on the wrong thing. Uh, so the pig, the pig is going to be Thomcraft. I am, I, we're at the point where Thomcraft can be done. And what we're going to need to do is buy the Cheater's Thaumonomicon. So, I just bought it. But the problem is, as soon as I click this, right? It's going to unlock everything for me, including the warp. So we are very, very in-game. By the way, this also completed. So before we do that, let's pull this out. And there we go. Now we get the squid egg. Also, we can just... Just admire the lovely squid as it uh, sits there. Actually, I wonder if we can... Nah, probably not. I was going to say, maybe we can save the squid, but he's definitely a goner. Um, <laughs> There it goes. Alright, so we can turn these off. We don't need all these on. That is only going to cause issues. Each one of these up 
updates the uh, ticks around it by 18. It speeds up uh, the ticks by 18, I believe. Um, which is, yeah, not good. But like I was saying, the, the Thomonomicon. This thing is pretty bad. Let's go ahead and open it. And there we go. We've literally unlocked everything in Thomcraft. Yes. Um, as soon as we click these tabs, the remaining tabs are going to open up for us on this main page. As soon as we get rid of all these stars, there's a lot of things that are, are bad that we just gained, uh, which was warp right here. This stuff is pretty nasty. And there are some quests that are in here that we did unlock that give you warp. Um, and unfortunately that comes with, uh, that comes with the, the, the whole task like these, anything that has like this stuff that's flowing around it in purple, when you unlock those, it gives you warp. <laughs> and let's just say there's a few of them that do that. Yeah, it comes with a lot, but this is way better than having to unlock this all yourself. Um, and the, by the way, this is going to continue to pop up these toasts are going to continue to pop up for quite a while um, until everything is, is said and done. Um, but for right now, yeah, this is just going to continue to go off over and over and over again. So I'll be back whenever that's all said and completed. So now that the uh, Thoncraft stuff has kind of gone away, um, I wanted to go ahead and work on getting some money production started. So what I have is all of our portable tanks here set up with some of the fuels and some of the things that we actually have for the repeatable quests. Now I have, I went ahead and did liquefacted coal. I figured that one's such an easy one. There's no need for me to show how it's made. Um, it is coal in a magma crucible, super simple. Um, plant oil is the only one that requires a very specific machine and everything else is we already have except for empowered oil. Um, so we already have refined, but we need empowered. Now refined oil is how we get the empowered oil. Um, we can take a look at the empowered oil and it kind of tells us here how we get this stuff. So it says use canola to make simple right here. It talks about canola oil. Um, we need empowered canola seeds and toss that into crystallized oil. First, we need to get the crystallized oil. So let's go ahead and we'll talk about this. We'll go ahead and grab some of the regular oil that's built up in these barrels. And we're going to go ahead and get ourselves just some blocks. Build that up. So let's say we're going to set that over here and we'll place this oil. Now, what we need is a canola seed, which we should have access to over here in our canola farm. Let's just say we pull it from here. This converts to a good old fashioned canola seed. Of course, we can get ourselves some more canola seeds. No big deal. Um, but we're going to use an actually additions atomic reconstructor. Which I think I have. I don't know. I'm just going to make another one. We have one somewhere. I <laughs> just don't know exactly where it was at. So we need to toss that in. That will change this into the crystallized canola. And this is actually utilized later on for something else. So I'm going to need another one. There we go. That's five. Um, and I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to do with this. So we're going to take this one and literally just drop it in. That changes this to crystallized oil. Now we need to take a piece of canola and drop that in the center here. Pretty sure it needs to go in there. Take a look at this recipe right here. Yeah. Crystallized or crystallized canola. Sorry. needs to go in the center and then it needs to be just surrounded with canola on the outside. And this takes but a second, right? And that's going to produce exactly what we need, which is empowered canola seeds. And all we got to do is drop that in here. And now we have literally empowered oil buckets. And this is super simple and we just throw it in there. Now the other one is seed oil. And the seed oil is a little bit different. Um, it looks like, can we use a fluid transposer for this? Is this, no, this is plant oil, not seed oil, plant. So plant oil is a little bit different. Yes, this is gonna require what I thought, which is the industrial squeezer. Um, the industrial squeezer is not a hard machine to make. Um, I think we could probably make that in just a couple seconds. 
let's take a look though. Um, it's part of, in, not industrial craft, it's part of, um, let's see, immersive engineering. So we need the guide for one thing. I think it's called the guide. I guess the projector is not in here as well. I think that's part of immersive petroleum. The projector is. Um, so we definitely need to know how to build this thing. We do have treated wood. We have steel. Uh, let me find that. There it is. It's the engineer's manual. That's what it's called. So we're definitely going to need this. We need to look in here and find exactly what we need. So this is going to be under heavy machinery. And I think this is under the squeezer. And you can see right here, we need a few things. Looks like it tells us right here in the list if you hover over it. So six steel scaffolding, um, some pipes, redstone engineering block, light engineering block. Those are two of the main ones. So one redstone engineering, two lights. And let's take a look. Still six steel scaffolding. So there we go. We should be able to make some steel scaffolding. We are going to need a few rods. Pop this back open. So we have the stick, uh, six. We need the fluid pipes. Bam. And wooden barrel, piston, and a steel fence. So good old barrel. So we're going to need some treated wood slabs which we should have plenty of treated wood. Don't get me wrong. Make a barrel. I think we only need one barrel, right? Four barrels, four wooden barrels. That's okay, we'll just throw it in here for that. Perfect. And this is all just to get that one fluid, right? And we need the steel fence. I think it was only three of those. And a piston. Perfect. So this should allow us to make this multi-block. We'll throw it over here. It may be ugly, but you know, we'll get her done. Um, so we can stop this and we can actually break this down into its individual parts. And yeah, this is not a hard machine it looks like to make. I've made it several times before. Um, just remembering it off the top of my head. That's where I struggle a little bit. All right, so we definitely have the guide so we can look at that every now and then when we need it. You can see we have two here and then just surrounded with a block on this corner, an engineering block. Like that. Then we can go up to the next layer, which is just the barrels. And I'm pretty sure another one of these blocks and then right here. Correct. And then one more piston and the three fence, and it's good to go. All right, so piston, three fence. All right, and this thing is pretty much ready to be made. All we gotta do is get a hammer from immersive engineering. And I'm pretty sure it's on the, the piston needs to be rotated. And let's take a look in our book. Piston rotated down. Um, the squeezer is a multi-block. And we need to figure out where we need to hit this. Okay, hammer on the central wooden barrel from the side that has the engineering blocks. So there we go. And there we go. The multi-block is completed and we're good to go. Um, so all we gotta do is give this thing some power. So we take a point. And it gets power right there where that orange bit's at. And we need to give it some seeds. There we go. And it should start working. You can see it right there doing its thing. And it's gonna start producing seed oil. And we already have enough for a bucket. Wow. 
And I think we can put a bucket directly in there. And there we go. And we'll get our plant oil bucket. And that is the last one. And now we have all of them ready to go. Now all we gotta do is get some screens for everything. Screens to go above each one of these. There we go. And then I'm gonna show you how we're gonna get these things going pretty fast. There we go. Awesome, and then we gotta break, of course, the center. All right, and configure each one of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all these screens configured and then we're gonna get this thing set up and ready to go. So all these are set and ready to go. The only one I have set differently is the Empowered Oil because there is a quest for Empowered Oil for the normal quest. But once that's done, we'll switch that over to making money. And all these are pretty much ready to go. Let's go ahead and claim this reward. And you can see some of them are already filling up because they do have setups down below, but that's not, that's not gonna be an issue. Let's go ahead and get this going. We are going to need some different types of fluid connectors. Let's take a look. What would, what would be the best? Maybe, I think that the translocators would probably be the one of the fastest, probably the fastest with the glowstone added to them. So what we can do is head on over here, place the translocators on the top and bottom of each one of these. And this should be pretty fast at flowing in here. Uh, each one of these need to have some glowstone added to them because that makes them faster. And this is about to get a little bit crazy. Yeah. So all we gotta do now is open the hatch on the top section. I mean, it's flowing in, but it's not flowing in that fast. I think this is where accelerators are gonna come in handy. And we're gonna get some accelerators going in this bad boy. And these are really gonna start flowing. Look at that, that, that finished instantly though. Okay, so the empowered oil quest is complete. Now all we gotta do is get another screen. And then you have to have an empty hand for this and shift right click. And we'll set this to the max one. Change that up. And there we go. So, like I said, we need to get this going faster. Well, we have everything to do that over here. Let's get these bad boys a rocking and a rolling. This is gonna get this is gonna get insane. Um so these pedestals, I guess we can put one in each section here. And I just, I don't know how fast this is gonna make this, but hopefully it's fast enough. If we need to add more, we can totally do that. I think we're gonna have to. I think we need more. We totally need more. <laughs> Why not? Why not just do more? Look at the transfer speed on these guys now. So what this is gonna allow me to do is just go ahead and claim the rewards now. And that's just gonna build up our, our money. Um, so you may be also wondering, you know, I have this TARDIS, what else is this good for? Well, this is gonna be good for beast coin miners uh, because we're gonna make a bunch of them. And we're gonna be utilizing the beast coin miners very, very soon using this amount, like this storage buffer. And this is gonna be pretty insane, but that's also gonna help. But like I said, this right here is also another way to help. I just, we need a f we need to get this faster. That is for sure. These need to go faster. And I, I think acceleration wands might help. I don't know. Um, let's put this on fastest mode. Don't know why we're not getting a, a charge. We should be wirelessly charging this bad boy. Not enough power in this wand. Okay. That should totally be charging. Let's check. Could be because the power output that we're doing. Oh no, this never got changed over, did it? 
So let's see these set to output. There we go. Now we got a charge. So yeah, will this help accelerate the fluid? Doesn't really seem like it. Yeah, it doesn't really seem like the, the wand would do much, which is fine. Like I said, this these are all going to complete and we're just, I mean, bam, claim these rewards every now and then, let them refill. They are filling quite fast. Some of them fill really fast. Wow. Guys, I think I have found the fastest way to transfer the fluids. Oh my. Um, these are instant. Uh, all you have to do is place down the laser, right? Hook them up. You don't. I guess you don't have to hook them up. And then you need to change this to out of adjacent blocks and this one into adjacent blocks. And when I complete this, these stay full. These are instantly transferring. This is insane. So these all need to be set to output, right? So if I take the compass, I set this to only output. So I hit these twice. Get all these hit twice. This one into adjacent, so once. And then I link them. Let's uh, let's go ahead and clear this, because some of these take a minute, like this one. Link it, instant. These are now instantly transferring. Um, yeah. Let's just claim the quest all day long. I mean, I, uh, I, what? Yeah, I say that this is pretty, um, pretty ridiculous, uh, to say the least. I mean, we could probably get to the 10 million, like, in a couple, like, in no time <laughs> at all. We would be at the 10, I think, it's, was it 10 million that we needed? Oh my. 10 million in no time. We're at five. Um, so yeah, and I don't even think you need these dark matter pedestals. I don't, I don't know. But regardless, we have all of the returnable or all the, the ways to send them in. And you can just keep spamming this if you want. That is absolutely insane. Anyways, guys. I know this has been a kind of a weird episode, but this, things are going to get a lot weirder as we get further on to nearly completing this pack. Guys, I really hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already. It also gives this video, guys, a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. I will see you guys in the next episode. And as always, thanks for watching.